Okay, so second effect. Um, in this one, we'll be creating a, um, basically a vertical row and we'll make it animate, we'll make it go up and down. So um, let's just right click and create a new chain, um, call it number two. And, um, oh, I forgot to reduce this. So this should be C1. And this one, let's make it start from here. So from here. Okay, so interesting thing is I want this row to light up, but it's already, um, it's starting from here. So what we want to do is make this note start from C1, which would be this um, button here. So we can use a pitch effect to do that and use pitch effects a lot when copying and pasting effects um, or duplicating them or whatever. So um, I've never stolen an effect from anyone, by the way, just in case you're thinking. Um, I've always made them from scratch. Um, so except for my own. So sometimes I take something from an old project or whatever. So um, here, um, basically with the pitch, we just move this um, down one, so minus one, and we shift that this button down here, because um, this effect will be triggered by this button here. Okay, so this button triggers the effect, but we want the effect to start from this button, so we make this one light up with the pitch. And then we just add two chords, um, and if you remember, to make it move vertically, we do four, eight, and 12, because it goes up in four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And the way take, um, oops, it's this one. And the way take this, these four, and we basically make another chord and add them up 16, because if you think this is the first quadrant of the launch pad, it's got 16 buttons, so we want it to start from this one. So you do plus 16. And again, even if you don't want to follow it along mathematically, um, we can just do it like this. So you can see it keep on going up and up and up and up. And then, oh, need to go back, 16. So that's that. And by the way, just in case you want to like, it gets messy and you don't want to see all of these things, you know if the codes are correct, you can just do this um, and minimize them. I'll leave them open for now so you guys can follow along in case you're missing any values or something. So just add in an arpeggiator here. Um, and we can do, uh, let's do up and down. So it will basically go up and down and that's pretty slow. So let's make it free rate and let's do 50 milliseconds is usually a nice uh, rate, I think. Let's put the repeats to once because it, it keeps on, if you see with um, the repeats, it keeps on just repeating. So let's do one. Uh, so it only plays it once and then it just stops. And then let's put the gate to 200, just so it's kind of nice. Um, actually, let's, um, I'll show you this other quick trick here. Um, I kind of don't like it. I want it to be a bit thicker. So um, let's put a note length at the end of this arpeggiator. And basically what this will do is um, if I put it to like 10 milliseconds, it's kind of like a gate. It says how, how long each note will last. So you can see now it's kind of like not lasting very long. Uh, let's kind of try to make it a bit chubby. Yeah, something like that. So that's uh, 182. Let's just do 200 to square it off. And I actually liked it. Oh, 175. I like trying to use some numbers that make sense if possible. So now we've got this, and this is um, uh, basically the effect that we wanted. So uh, a row that goes um, up and down. So in the next effect, I will kind of do the same thing, but I'll make it go vertically and it's a bit more challenging. Um, so yeah, join me for that. If there are any questions, um, just leave a comment uh, below or if you have any suggestions or any requests, um, yeah, let me know.